here n equal to f e i e i is an array and f is a function okay so we have to write 3 underscore for this c code segment first of all e i has to be evaluated it has to be written in terms of 3 underscore so first of all i will write here t1 is equal to address of a next second size of i if i am assuming if it's a size is 4 byte if it's an integer nothing is given here uh, it may be taking uh, it may be taken as a character whatever it is i'm i'm assuming it's a of type integer so i will multiply i by 4 okay so it will be t2 now a i can be written as t1 this offset will be added we will access that address so t3 equal to t1 t2 so this is the three address code for a i now what three what this e i is this is a parameter so i will write here this is parameter so i will because t3 is now e i so what's happening now this e f e i is being called so I am using one more variable t4 is equal to call what is the name of the function f because this function f is being called and how many parameters are being passed here that is one parameter so I will write here one okay and that variable that value is being assigned in into t4 so at number 6 t4 will be assigned to a so this is the three address code for this code segment we have given this function and we have to write the three address code for this function integer db db is a function which of which written type is integer in which these two arrays are being passed of type integer here d is an integer i has taken an in, taken as integer value of d is assigned to zero and one loop is there and here d is taking d is getting some value some x i and y i are being multiplied and these are added with d here and we are returning d to the calling function now we have to write three address code for this function so first of all function begin what is the name dp so i am writing dp number 2 value of d is assigned 0 ok now value of i is being assigned 0 ok because the name of the function is dp so I am beginning with function dp and value of d is assigned 0 and value of i has been assigned 0 now what is going to happen this condition if i is greater than 
equal to n I have to jump where I don't know we shall see it okay else what is going to happen we have to write the three errors code for xi as well as for yj for xi what will happen here t1 is equal to address of x okay now this i this is of type integer so t2 will be equal to i into 4 the size of int is 4 now this xi can be written as t1 t2 we are adding t2 in this address of t1 and we are accessing that address and for yi t4 is equal to address of y in number 9 t5 will be equal to i into 4 and number 10 t6 will be equal to t4 t5 these have been evaluated now now what we are going to do number 11 we are multiplying these xi and yi so xi is in t4 and yi is t6 here so one more temporary variable t7 is here which is being assigned by t4 into t6 in number 12 what is happening now this product is being added with d so t8 is equal to d plus t7 and now 13 line number 13 this t8 is being assigned in d okay now what is happening now value of i will be increased so line number 14 t9 will be equal to i plus 1 15 this t9 will be assigned to i okay now what will happen at 16 i equal to t9 then it will go we shall jump it go to that condition 4 ok this loop will be continuing here if this completes what will happen if this condition becomes true what will happen here it will go at line number 17 and what line number 17 says return d okay at line number 18 function begin dp now function a so this is the three address code for this function db t3 into t6 right okay yes at line number 11 this xi is stored in xi is t3 here so i will multiply t3 by t6 